when you're meditating, you're giving good food to the mind. Because the mind goes around and eats all kinds of garbage in the course of the day. And it may be pretty garbage, but it still doesn't give much nourishment to the heart, doesn't give much nourishment to the mind. It's when you strengthen the mind's qualities, that's how the mind gets strong and that's how it gets nourished. It's not nourished by pretty sights or nice sounds. It's nourished by the fact that you train mindfulness and you train alertness. You train your discernment. So you can see, if you're doing something that's causing stress, you can drop it. Anything that's causing suffering, you can drop it and do something better in, in its place. It's when the mind gets to know itself and to watch itself in action. That's when it really gets strong. So as you're staying here with the breath, you've got something good to take as your focal point, as your frame of reference. And if the mind moves, you know immediately. It's like lying out in a large field. If you look up in the sky and you can't see anything but sky, you don't know which direction the clouds are moving or how fast it gets all very very confused because you have no reference point. But if you do have a reference point, like a tree that's not moving, or the top of a house or a telephone pole, then you can see these things are moving relative to the pole, relative to the top of the house. You know which direction they're going and how fast they're going. It's the same with the mind. If you just look at the mind without any reference point, you don't really know where it's going or what it's doing. But if you make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath, then you begin to notice, okay, you just left the breath. It can continue to come right back, right back, right back immediately. And that way you strengthen your mindfulness, you strengthen your alertness, and the mind gets to know itself a lot better. And in knowing itself a lot better gets stronger. So this is how you nourish the mind with a meditation. And just the fact that you're with a good object on a good path, that in and of itself can nourish the mind as well, just that thought right there. So even if the meditation is not going very well, you can re refresh yourself with the fact that at least you're not straying off the path, you're trying to get back on the path. And you can be sure that someday you'll be on the path for sure.